Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to make a video tutorial on how to make a light switch work with a ceiling fan on Roblox. Now, before I get started, keep in mind that this is a little bit of a complicated process. So if you don't have really much experience with Roblox Studio, then I would recommend um, getting somebody to help you with this. Um, if you do have some experience and um, you think you can do it, then go ahead and keep watching. So, uh, let's get started. So I'm going to be using this light switch and I'm going to be using it on this ceiling fan. So, uh, first you're going to obviously spawn in the light switch. Now you can grab this from the link in the description. So basically this light switch can, should contain the following things, some light values and all that. If it, um, if it doesn't, then you probably are using the wrong model. The correct model should be in the link in the description. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to right click this light switch and you're going to go ahead and click on cut. And then you're going to go into the ceiling fan model right here, right click and hit paste into. Now keep in mind it should be in the same group as all this other stuff. So now it should be in the group. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this real quick. Okay. So we're going to go in the light switch. Okay, and then you'll see these things here with the little f finger um, pointer, these values. You're going to go ahead and you're going to select one of them, hold control or command, and select the other two. If you can't do this, then just select them individually and do this. But what you're going to do is either just drag them into this model or go ahead and right click, hit cut, and just paste them into the same model that you paste in, uh, you pasted your light switch. So it should kind of look like this. So you have your motor set and everything. Then you have these values and your light switch. If you're kind of stuck, just use this as a reference and um, you should be fine. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. You're going to take fan chain here. You're going to take fan chain Take the script, right click, and cut, and then you're going to hold alt on your keyboard, and you should be able to select all this stuff, and click on the ceiling fan pull chain, and then it'll open this fob. You're going to open it, and you'll see these scripts in here. Just go ahead and paste it in there. Don't delete any other scripts yet. Just paste it in there. Now you're going to open this script, which should open up this little editor. Now we're going to edit this very top line right here. And basically, you're going to revert it so it goes to this speed value right here. So basically, you're just going to add, you're going to make it say script.parent. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to do dot and speed. And if it doesn't pop up here in the little uh, automatic thing, you're going to add another dot parent. And then, okay, let's add another. And there it is. So you're just going to repeat that until it does it. Um, automatically. And that's when you know you have it. After that, close that. Now we're going to take the light chain script and do the same thing. So cut and then hold alt, click the light chain, and then just paste it in here and open the chain, the script, and do the same thing except instead of typing speed, you type in light. There we go. Now sometimes it gets a little confusing because this model um, as you can see, it has something called light in it. So basically, just do dot and V, and you should see value. If not, if it does not say dot value, and it, see, if I just do dot light here, if it doesn't do dot value, go ahead and add another dot parent, and then it should be good. So it should look like this. So we have that done. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to take this speed here, the script called speed, you're going to right click and cut, and then you're going to go into the fan motor set here, and then motor, and then you should see body angular velocity. You're going to paste it into motor, right? So now you're going to edit this. Now this is where most of the editing comes in. Now, same thing with these two lines. So you're going to do the same thing. Um, so, you know, just do the dot parent thing until, yeah, speed comes up. And then the same thing here. Do dot parent and all that until lights on comes up. 
Now we gotta make these speeds accurate. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold Alt and select this pull chain again. Now you're gonna select speed script or something that kind of looks like this. Now you'll see these values here. This certain thing that says max torque vector three dot new. Um, find the ones with one equal sign, not the ones that have two. And um, pretty much in this order, this is how you're going to do it. So on here, you'll see it goes 25, 18, 8. You're going to copy from here down. So 12, 10, 4 is how I'm going to do it. So this 25, I'm going to change to 12, 10, 4. Okay. Now that might be a little confusing, but that is what you are supposed to do. So see 12, 10, 4. So um, I just copied them down just like that in the correct order. So we can now close both of these scripts. And if I go into play mode like this, um, oh yeah, after you do that, go into the fan script, the pull chain script for the fan and delete this script, the speed script, the one that we just looked at um, to find these orders. You're gonna go ahead and delete that. We don't need that anymore. If you don't delete it, it won't work. So you have to delete it. So now if we go in game, turn our switch on, fan works, put it on low, shut it off, and it should uh, do its thing. So I can put this back on high and I'll flip the switch on and it works. So now we have to get the light to work, which it doesn't yet. So if I turn this on, the light will still come on. So let's get the light to work now that we have the fan working. Now the light is a bit more of a complicated process. So again, if you need any help, comment. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're gonna uh, hold Alt and select the light chain again and open this script. Not the light chain script, but the script that has all this stuff in it. Um, in terms of, you know, point light enabled bulb material, it should look similar to this. So, you're gonna go back um, into the light switch here. Um, here we go, light switch. Now you see a, a script called light bulb. You're gonna go ahead and cut it, and then you're gonna hold Alt, select your light bulb, and paste it, just like that. And then open this script, and now, it should say, you know, what material everything is. So this says smooth plastic, that says smooth plastic. Okay. So now we just got to change, we do the same thing here. The dot parent thing that should say, yep, light. And lights on. Now again, similar thing. You know, if it doesn't come up, add another dot parent. Lights on. And that's that. Um, very easy okay and then that's that so now you're gonna go ahead and you're going to copy the script in here and you're gonna paste it in every single bulb just like this in every single bulb just like that so again you hold alt you click on the light bulb and then you paste it in and it should be in the same thing as point light here okay um, now I don't know if I mentioned this but you're gonna open the light chain script from the pull chain so you know hold alt click the pull chain select the light chain script you're gonna change this as well that light make sure it completes if it auto completes it works so once you do all that you're gonna f locate the script that has all this stuff uh, in the light chain not this one but this one Okay, once you find it, delete it. Whoops. Delete it. We don't need it anymore. And if we don't delete it, it will not work. So now, what I'm going to do is play the game. Let's pull this chain. The light didn't come on. And now it did. Let's uh, turn the light switch off. Let's pull the chain to medium. And everything works as intended. So it is a bit of a complicated process, but if, any, if anybody needs help, leave a comment. 
and let me know and I'll be glad to help. So I hope you enjoyed and um, I hope this helps. I'm glad that this finally works. Thanks for watching.